Hello guys, <coughs> I'm back. So, back home to plowing. I've been, been on vacation to Malta for a week. Which was nice to get away from all the problems at home. See something else. But it's also nice to be back home. It's been a week with chasing the kids around on the streets so they don't go in front of cars or fall in the water. And A lot of stairs up and down all over Malta. So it's nice to be back plowing. Almost relaxing to sit here and plow. I got a cold flu, uh, cold on the vacation, so I haven't. I didn't get much sleep tonight. Just was coughing all night long. So. people's toys there in Malta. A lot of private yachts. The biggest yacht I, boat I saw there was... I had to check it up on Google so it was 95 meters long. And had a crew of 30 people. So that was a very big boat. I also saw it cost at 130 million euros or was a dollar when it was made. I think if I looked at the right stuff so my mind started to spin so I was counting a bit so 130 million would give me about 450 of these tractors new. And this might be the tractor that we use as the least in our farm. It's the biggest one and we don't... Maybe we use it 40 to 50 days a year. About 400 hours a year, maybe. So if you put 450 tractors, I would go about 9 years and would always step into a new tractor every time I use it. That's how much one boat, the price of one boat, would give me in tractors. And you, if you spin on with it, then you would only buy 25 tractors at a time. And then you would trade them in for new ones when you have used them one day. I bet you could drive the rest of your life or my life with new tractors every day. Or every time you use it. A lot of money for one boat. I would like a nice boat for 
if it would get some day off on the summer to go out then. But I... Dream boat, my dream boat would be maybe 15 meters long, not 95 meters. We have a boat, but it's 5 meters. And it's an old 10 boat, so... Don't... Don't really want to sleep in it. And I haven't had it in the sea the last three years either because last two summers was so the weather was so bad so didn't really have any need to go to the sea with the boat then and this summer would have been great but they didn't didn't feel like we had the time. a bit since I well as long as I've been awake eh? so it's I really need some new tires on this tractor they are worn out and and it's getting a bit slippery at, at the other end of the field It would be nice to have some real plow to put behind this tractor. At least for these better fields that are a bit bigger so you don't have to turn on. Just be turning around. Wondering why it's so crooked this my plowing it because the other side of the field was the same way. It isn't a straight line on that side. And also here in the other end it's a bit wetter and it seems to go wider when it's wetter the plow. I could try to turn, straighten it up, but I don't have the energy for it. It will 
the ditch at the end is straight, so then I have to straighten it up. But I don't know if if I start to do it now. Might be I still have to do it at the end. So who cares if it's a bit crooked? I don't think it will grow any worse if the plowing is crooked. After this field we still have this three fields to plow, two smaller one and one, a bit bigger, not big but a bit bigger. I think we'll be done this week with the plowing. And then the winter can come. My mother-in-law sent pictures from her place Just yesterday maybe. They had five centimeter of snow there and maybe twenty third rain there on the yard. So there the winter has begun. any questions for me don't be afraid to ask I answer them when I have time or remember sometimes I forget to check also and if you like my videos please subscribe there will be more maybe not that many this winter because I don't know really what I'm gonna film maybe take a tour of the farm and the machines and maybe some snow snow plowing or something but there will be more videos so I think that's it for this time I'm gonna start to listen to Joe Rogan's podcast again See you. Bye.